and welcome to the application section of our website. You're going to notice here that we've demonstrated a number of different, different applications, but we're actually showing four different methods to laminate. And we felt it was important to talk a little bit about why we show so many different ways to laminate. Uh, we're showing four different methods, as I say. It's going to be laminating from a roll, laminating sheets that are full width, laminating small sheets on a sled, and laminating small sheets using craft paper as a carrier. Now the order that I list them off there is actually from most desirable to least desirable. You're going to get the best results and have the least margin for error if you feed your prints off of a roll. If you can't feed them off a roll because they're too short but they're still the full width of the laminate, then you can feed sheets, but uh, you want to limit that to pieces that are under four feet long. Then the third method would be on a sled, and that's using a piece of substrate underneath to give you stability as you run, uh, and then feeding using craft paper underneath. The craft paper is the least desirable because it's a really thin material and uh, it also adds another layer of instable material to the process, so it is a little bit problematic. You can do it, but you should probably use that as a last resort. Thank you for using our site, and please feel free to send us any feedback that you might have.